It's so freezing today, RJ. I wonder what the temperature is. I think it's like negative two. Hot chocolate was a good idea. Mmm, yeah, at least it'll warm us up a little bit. It better not get any colder. Negative two is like Arctic chill. <laughs> Zoe, average Arctic winter is like negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think we're in for quite that deep a freeze. Negative 30? Sheesh. How low do these negative numbers go? Just as low as positive numbers go high. Whether they're positive and above zero or negative and below zero, all whole numbers and their opposites are called integers. Integers, huh? Integer actually means whole in Latin. Integers are all whole numbers and their opposites. That means the ones on the thermometer, the ones we count with, floors in a building, steps up some stairs. Okay, I think I get the idea. Well, what about zero? Well, zero is an integer too. It may be near the bottom of a thermometer, but it's at the center of the number line. The center? Not the beginning? Zero's definitely at the center. It's where both positive and negative numbers start. If you move right, you get one, two, three, you know, positive numbers. If you move left, you dip below zero. Negative one, negative two. Negative three, negative four. I get it. One side's positive and the other is negative. Exactly. Every positive number has an opposite negative number. Opposite numbers have the same absolute value. Uh, but that makes no sense. How can a negative number have the same value as a positive number? Well, absolute value is just a number's distance from zero, whether it's negative or positive. Think about it this way. Let's say that where you're standing is zero. If you take two steps forward, it's two steps. If you take two steps backward, it's still two steps even though it's backward or negative. Ah, oh, that makes sense. What about a half a step? No halves allowed. Remember, integer means whole. No fractions, no almosts. Well, okay then, even better. Who wants halfway when you can have the whole thing? Let me run through this integer stuff and see if I've got it straight. Integers are all whole numbers and their opposites. They can be positive, negative, or even zero. Either way, the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. And the absolute value of my integer know-how? A perfect 10. 